company's policies and procedures can either assist or become a barrier to good strategy execution. Anytime an organization makes changes to its business strategy, managers are well advised to carefully review existing policies and procedures and revise or discard those that are out of sync. Well-conceived policies and operating procedures act to facilitate organizational change and good strategy execution in three primary ways. Let's take a look. Policies and procedures help enforce needed consistency in how particular strategy critical activities are performed. Standardization and strict conformity are sometimes desirable components of good strategy execution. Eliminating significant differences in the operating practices of different plants, sales regions, or customer service centers helps a company deliver consistent product quality and service to customers. Policies and procedures support change programs by providing top-down guidance regarding how certain things need to be done. Asking people to alter habits upsets the internal order of things. It's normal for pockets of resistance to develop and for people to exhibit some degree of stress and anxiety about how the changes will affect them. Policies are a particularly useful way to counteract tendencies for some people to resist change. That's because most people refrain from violating company policy or going against recommended practices and procedures without first gaining clarity about having strong justifications. Well-conceived policies and procedures promote a work climate that facilitates good strategy execution. Managers can use the policy changing process as a powerful lever for changing the corporate culture in ways that produce a stronger fit with the new strategy. Well-conceived policies and procedures aid strategy execution. Out-of-sync ones are barriers to effective implementation.